I'd like to give a big thank you to this video sponsor, Verve. Use the link in the description to try out a 30-day ad-free trial of Verve Premium today. So, Tim, do you want to hear about the little mischievous things I did when I was a child? Yes, obviously. Okay, cool. <laughs> I can just be like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no Bye, video's over. <laughs> So these happened when I was five. Okay, so I was I was kind of like, for the most part, in my childhood, I was a pretty good kid. But I believe you. I was kind of a kindergarten rebel. You know. That was like your one bad year. I, I guess. So what happened? Okay, so I was really into drawing when I was a kid. You know, nothing's changed, obviously. Sure. Um, but in kindergarten, we had to have these composition notebooks. And every single day in class, we would have some kind of prompt, like a journal prompt. It could it could be like a question, like, what's your favorite? Blank. Mm -hmm. Or it'd be like, what are your plans for the weekend? Like really basic, like five-year-old stuff that you would ask. And so we would have to draw a picture of like our answer. And then on the bottom, the teachers would help us write out this like one sentence thing. Makes sense. Um, but I, I had kind of like a big imagination when I was a kid. I mean, as, as all kids do, sure, I'd like sure. to imagine. And one of the journal prompts that I can remember was the question, how do you go to school in the morning? <laughs> and of course, you know, all the kids are drawing like school buses or like, I live close to school, so I walk with my parents in the morning or my mom drives me or just like some kind of vehicle or whatever, or, like you would draw a car. And... I remember five-year-old me was like, wow, that's really boring. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, mm -mm, I'm not going to draw a bus. I go to school in a bus, but I'm not going to draw a bus. Yeah, can't tell the truth. <laughs> um, yeah, because I was like, 12 other kids in this class are going to draw themselves in a bus. I don't want to do that. So I drew myself riding like a pink unicorn to school. Okay. And so then one of the kindergarten teachers came over and sat down. and We need to talk. Where do you keep your unicorn? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you keep your pink unicorn? No, but she like looked at it and she was like, "Um, so Emily, how exactly do you go to school in the mor in the morning?" And I said, "I ride a pink unicorn." And she goes, "No, you don't." <laughs> and I'm like, "Yes, yes, I do. Like, look, I drew it, a pink unicorn." You can't draw something that's not real. <laughs> Basically. She's like, oh, all right. Yeah, I was, if I, yeah. Sorry, my mistake. <laughs> <laughs> but she was like, no, Emily, really, how do you go to school in the morning? And, you know, five-year-old me, like, I'm getting, like, I get nervous. And I'm like, well, I I take the bus in the morning. And she's like, okay, well, I, I think you should draw yourself riding a bus. And I'm like, no, I like this picture. <laughs> I'm going to keep it that way. And so they couldn't convince me to draw otherwise, but like this teacher was getting like really heated with me of like a five year old, yeah. mind you. And so eventually we came to like this compromise where the blurb would be accurate, but the picture wouldn't be. So it's a picture of me riding a pink unicorn. And then on the bottom it says, I take the bus to school in the morning. <laughs> And with these composition notebooks, you weren't supposed to take them home. You're supposed to, like, leave them in the classroom so that you wouldn't forget them. Yeah, because your dumb little kid self is going to lose it. Exactly. <laughs> and my dumb little kid self took it home with me. <laughs> um, of course. And I remember it was, like, one lazy weekend afternoon. I had my composition notebook with, like, a little unicorn journal prompt and whatever else I had in there. And I loved to draw on everything. And I thought, you know, it wouldn't hurt for me to just, like, doodle on one page in my composition notebook. I was really into, like, Sailor Moon, I think, when I was around five. Well, and... but who wasn't, you know? I know, right? C you know. You were totally into that kind of stuff. I actually was. Okay, that's my <laughs> total side note. Like, Sailor Moon was dope. Okay. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not editing that out. No, <laughs> you can't. So, anyway, <laughs> anyways, um, so I, w I would draw, like, you know... Just girls in, like, cute little dresses and, like, fluffy skirts and, like, little sailor collars. I went ham. And then I guess I just, I had no self-control. And by the end of the afternoon, I had drawn in every single page of this composition <laughs> notebook. And I remember thinking, like, oh, no, Monday morning, I have to take this book back. And there won't be any more pages to write my journal prompts in. And, you know, dumb little five-year-old me didn't think, oh, I could just ask my parents to get me a new composition notebook. No, I just thought to myself, 
I'm not going to tell my parents that I've completely ruined my school <laughs> notebook. Instead, I'm going to pretend like I can't find it. Okay. So th- the next uh, day, all the kids' notebooks were like lined up on the carpet and the teacher would be like, all right, kids, go pick up your notebooks and get ready for today's journal prompt. And I, I'm like, I knew that it wasn't going to be there because I took mine home and I didn't take yeah. it back. So I'd walk over and I would do that thing where I would like pretend to look for it, but like <laughs> never find it. And I'd be like, I can't find my notebook. And my teacher's like, what? Why? I think the first day she was like, OK, well, um, you know, maybe we'll find it tomorrow or something. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, OK, cool. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Crazy. And, wow. And I sure every, hope so. Every single day, I would pull the same thing. I'd be like, okay, time to look for my notebook. Oh, I, I don't know where it is. I can't find it on the carpet. Oh, no. And, like, my teacher legitimately got mad at me. And looking back on it, I figured, you know, I figured she would have just told my parents, like, hey, your kid lost her notebook. Can you get a new composition notebook? for our journal prompts but like instead of doing that she just disliked me for it she like like, got mad at you yeah she got mad at me this stupid kid lost it earlier this year and hasn't ever been able to find it but i'm gonna hate her more (laughs) every day yeah (laughs) so instead of you know suggesting to my parents that they get me a new notebook or explain to them what happened every single day she would just be like well then i guess you're not participating (laughs) in today's journal prompt activity she just made you feel bad for it? Basically. <laughs> thanks for thanks for telling me that story. Yeah, and thanks awesome. for telling me your story and your previous life of crime. No problem. Go to youtube.com slash Tim Tom and subscribe. No. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of our childhoods, did you know that some of your favorite Nickelodeon shows from the 90s are now available for streaming on Verve Premium? Were some of them even alive during the 90s? Anyways, don't miss out on shows like Doug, Cat Dog, Rocket Power, and Rocco's Modern Life and let that wave of 90s nostalgia hit you in the face. If those aren't really your thing, there's always newer titles like My Hero Academia and Attack on Titan Season 3 subbed and dubbed. I finally decided to start watching My Hero Academia because people keep telling me it's the best, so don't be alarmed if I don't leave my apartment for the next week or so. Other perks that come with Verve Premium include ad-free content across 12 different channels that you can watch without an internet connection, first access to new content, and it's accessible on all your favorite devices. Use my link verve.co slash emirichu or click the link in the description and try out a 30-day ad-free trial of Verve Premium today. Check it out and let me know what you think I should be watching. That's vrv.co slash e-m-i-r-i-c-h-u. And also big thanks to Tim Tom for collabing with me on this video. So I also did a collab on Tim's channel, which should be out sometime this weekend, so be on the lookout for that. We were originally planning on uploading at the same time, but he had to go to VidCon Australia, so it kind of threw the schedule off, and yada yada yada, you get the idea. Let me know what you think about this sort of casual, unscripted conversation style of recording, and if it's something you'd like to see again. Also, I have a PO Box now, yay! I'll include it in the description if you'd like to check it out, so if you'd like to send me any letters or fan art, now there's a place for it. Thank you to everyone who drew me fan art, and of course, thank you to my patrons.